Today, congressional Democrats Deborah Ross, Alma Adams, David Price, G.K. Butterfield, and Kathy Manning sent a letter to Attorney General Merrick Garland. That group is asking his office to look into an October 5th traffic stop. 18 Shaw University students were traveling to an economic conference in Atlanta when they were pulled over and searched by drug-sniffing dogs. Cindy Bay joining us from Shaw with that letter. And Cindy, the letter states no illicit materials were found, and some are asking why that search happened in the first place. Yeah, Lauren, and that's what's prompting these five signatures. The letter saying that the unfounded search left the students feeling unnerved, confused and humiliated. And the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office did say that they communicated with Shaw University President Paulette Dillard, but they were unable to meet so far. And this remains a big issue here at Shaw University. I just want to know why, like, I mean, it's, it's on a highway. It's a lot of more buses just why Shabbos out of all people. Questions remain after 18 Shaw University students were stopped and searched while riding to an economic conference in Atlanta back on October 5th. The university president released the information in a statement saying the driver was pulled over for a minor traffic violation and deputies used drug sniffing dogs to search students' suitcases. Some say the experience was not only humiliating, but deeply troubling. We're just disappointed and you know, our generation already feels like we can't trust the police. The incident played out in Spartanburg, South Carolina, but gained the attention of North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper. And today we learned five members of Congress are urging the U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland to investigate. When there's no reason to search a passenger, we need to ask, why was law enforcement doing this? Um, I don't know why they did it, but this needs to be looked into. If the bus was not being driven properly or whatever, that's one thing for the stop. The question is, why was there a search? Congresswoman Deborah Ross questioning the practices of the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office. Do they just do it for every stop? Do they do it for young people? Do they do it for women, African-Americans? We don't know the answer to that question. Again, in North Carolina, we would know that answer because we have an anti-racial profiling statistics law. But South Carolina um, doesn't have that, and we need to get to the bottom of it. So the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office is expected to address this next Monday morning, and they say they offered the university president an opportunity to come and view the footage three times, but they say that the first two times she missed it, citing scheduling conflicts, and the most recent one, the third time, that she backed out of a meeting that was supposed to occur today. Reporting in Raleigh, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Okay, so we'll wait to see what the uh, sheriff down in Spartanburg has to say about this and if the AG gets involved from Washington. Cindy Bay at Shaw Force in Raleigh. Cindy, thanks.